There's a little update with the chickens. They're getting a lot bigger. In about another week, I can let them out the little cage right there, and I can have full range of this pen I got them in. We're going to let these chickens out here in about a week, and they're going to have full range of this pen. We're going to take and uh, put a tarp over it and put a little bit more wire on top. So they can't get out we got it on half of it already back here in the back and we're gonna go around the edges with it at least so this is what these beans look like they've been down in there about three weeks now they ain't been growing a whole lot but they're getting some plenty of leaves on them they're starting to vine up pretty good and this is just flowers The beans are doing good. We got some more beans right there. We're going to put in the ground this weekend. And them onions right there is doing really good. And all this green stuff you see right here, that's some taters we planted. They're doing really good. All these sprigs of grass you see right here in this line. All that's onions. Right here, all this is onions coming up. And then that's the rest of the garden. We're going to have to come in here and uh, hit it again real good. Get all this grass back out and mound it up. We're going to put some, some squash and tomatoes on the ground here. Um, I'm hoping this week because we just had our last little cold snap down in the 40s So we should be good for now on on this garden. We should not have to worry about the weather no more And we got this one store bar heirloom tomato And uh, it's not doing too great at the moment. It's been in the ground about three or four days And it ain't growed at all if anything looks like it's dying a little bit. It's probably just in shock but uh we're going to give it some water in a few more days and it should be com coming up just fine. Probably need to get some uh, tomato feed put out here on it. Make it sprout on up and perk up. Alrighty guys, let's see what we got this morning. Let's see, we got some of these beans that didn't turn out too well. We got about three of them growing. Um, we got some tomatoes in this one to the right that didn't turn out too well. Get a little cat grass. And then up here, he uses a lot of those tomatoes we've seen. This is why you need to get these tomatoes started early because they're not growing that fast for some reason. We got them in this little greenhouse in the kitchen. And it's going to be a minute before they get put in the ground because they are going so slow at the moment. These are, these got started the exact same night them beans did that's growing outside. So these are growing pretty slow right now. I'd imagine this is um, four to five weeks of growth on these tomatoes. I'm not doing too great at the moment. So it's probably going to be a little minute before we get these put in the ground. We should have started them a little bit earlier than we did, but um, they're still going to produce. So we're going to have us lots of tomatoes this year. What's up, everybody? Today is Sunday, April 5th. I'm doing a quick little video for you guys, give you all a little update on what's going on here in Albany, Georgia. Uh, so y'all see my chickens and my garden I've got going. And uh, I just want to go over everything else. We should be getting some yield out of that in about uh, 8 to 10 weeks, hopefully, out of the garden and the chickens and everything. But uh, right now, as of Sunday, April 5th, 2020, there are 6,383 cases in the state of Georgia. There have been 201 deaths. And here in Albany, in Daltrey County, there's 685 cases. And we've had 30 deaths so far. 
In Fulton County, which is the worst in Georgia, we've got 959 cases and 26 deaths. And up there in Macon, Bibb County, from where I'm from, they've got 36 cases and one death so far. So if anything happens with me, if I get sick, I'm going up to Macon because um, it's just a bigger town and I think that they're going to do better than Albany is because when all, people in Albany get sick, they send them up to Macon or Atlanta anyway for like regular stuff. So if I was to get the COVID-19, I would probably just go up to Macon anyway and get treated if I could help it. Just, just because I don't know anybody here in Albany really other than my wife's family. All my family's up there in Macon. So they've got one death up there out of 36 people. Fulton County has got 26 deaths out of 959, but here in Albany, there's 30 deaths out of 685 people. So I'm like, what's going on? Why is the death toll higher here in Albany versus Fulton County? So that's another reason why I'm going to make it if I get sick. But... You know, it's just crazy times we're living in. I mean, I don't wish no bad on anybody. So y'all please stay safe and clean yourself. And uh, wear a mask when you're out in public or around people or friends. Even if you're around your friends, go ahead because you don't know what they do. You don't know who they've been around. So just just take and keep yourselves at home if you can. I mean, I understand if you got to go out and get groceries or something. Take some alcohol, some Lysol. We're, hell, use some vinegar if you got it. You might smell like feet all day, but that's what you got to do to protect yourself. You can go home and wash your hands after you sprayed your vinegar out in public and clean your hands. I mean, vinegar ain't the best thing in the world to use, but it's going to get the job done, hopefully. Although they've been restocking shelves a lot, so hopefully you can get you hold of some alcohol or something. We had a neighbor get a hold of some um, Lysol yesterday at Publix in uh, Albany, Georgia. So things are looking up. But I see a lot of this fear-mongering going on online with truck drivers. They're all getting worried about shutdowns and stuff. But as long as the general public is fairly safe, there's going to be we're, we're still going to operate. Trucks are not going to shut down or anything. The biggest thing right now is I believe the pilots and everything are making it to where it's hard to get fuel because they're closing down at night. So that's the hard part is getting fuel. So you have to time your, your hours of getting fuel during the daytime versus getting at night. So hopefully everybody's got big tanks on their trucks. So just know that every day when you start your day before you finish your day out, you got to stop and get fuel. Or in the middle of the day, just depending on what's going on. But I would go ahead and fill up first thing in the morning so I don't have to worry about it. And hopefully you'll have half to a quarter of a tank left to get you started so you can find you uh, another truck stop to go to. But as long as the production places are open and Walmart distribution centers are pushing out freight, there is going to be plenty of stuff for everybody. So I would not start worrying now, if you see a lot of trucks not driving on the road, then I would start worrying. But as long as there's trucks moving on the road, everybody's going to be all right. So, thank y'all for watching. This is Trucker AJ. Y'all like, share, and subscribe, and I'll try to give y'all updates every couple of days on what's going on here. Me and my family were doing fine. Nothing really new to report on, so y'all stay safe and be happy out there. Y'all stay entertained. Whip out those board games, get pissed off at somebody by playing Monopoly. And make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate the hell out of y'all for watching. And we're up to 107 subscribers so far. So we're growing pretty good as long as I can keep putting out content at a regular basis like I've been doing. We'll be doing just fine. So y'all take it easy out there and look out for each other. And we appreciate everything y'all do. Thank y'all for all the essential workers out there, all the Walmart employees, all the restaurant people, all the truck drivers. Thank y'all for all your service you're doing for us. 
And this is Trucker AJ. Thanks again for everything y'all do. Y'all stay safe out there. And y'all like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate the hell out of y'all.